tell you the truth whether you like it or not. That's right. Ain't no need for nobody to present America to me like she's some virgin. Amen. America is a red, white, and blue hole. That's right. <laughs> Preach it, brother. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. You would call it hate teaching. That's what they say. Don't try to censor it. That's what they That's right. Why would you want to censor it? That's you right. didn't censor Trump lovers. Go ahead, When man. they went on down in Congress. Go ahead. And burglarized the Capitol. That's right. If you didn't censor them, they ain't got no business censoring me. That's right. Preach it. Preach it, man. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. What do the rich folks say in the book of Job? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. They tell God. Depart from us. Leave us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. They don't want God's intelligence. That's right. They don't want God's thinking. No. They don't want what, how God feels. That's right. And this is why God sent a preacher. Yeah. So the preacher can instill in the people yeah. how God feels. And then you make your feelings to evolve around God. Right. And then you come out God's sons and God's daughters. That's right. Yeah. That's and right. God will make you rebellious. Oh, yes. Against the actions of Satan. That's right. He make you humble to him. Yeah. But rebellious to the devil. That's right. I'm not afraid to stand up. Go ahead, man. For him. Go ahead. He put a hallelujah. He put a board in my back. Amen. I'm not bent. Oh no. God said, let us make man. That's right. And our image. And if you're a man and scared to stand up for God, for God. sit down. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. What did he say? They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment, in a moment go down to the grave. Go down to the grave. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. That's the way the rich folk feel. That's right. That's Leave right. us alone. For we desire not the knowledge of thy we ways. We don't want your information. What is the almighty? Look at the arrogance. Look at the arrogance. What is the almighty? What is the almighty that, that we should serve him? Amen. A lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. Job chapter and verse again. Job chapter 21, now at verse 15. The Bible's talking about the attitude of the rich. What is the Almighty? What is the Almighty? That we should that serve we Him. Should serve Him. And what and profit should what we have? do we gain? If we pray if unto we Him. we pray to Him. Though their good is not in their hand. You're no good. No, no good. The Bible says the good is not in your hand. You're no good. That's right. That's right. You're an actor, actress. Mm. And you got time to cuss God? Mm. You say, <coughs> you say, Pastor Jennings, it's just acting. It's not for real. Not in God's eyes. That's right. God said, by thy words, that's right. you're justified. justified. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. That's right. You're going to stand before God for every word that fell out of your mouth. That's right. What do the rich folks say? What is the almighty that we should serve him? You hear the arrogance? Arrogance. Mm -hmm. And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hands. God say you're no good. Go back to the book of Revelation, son. Everybody all right? Yeah. Back in Revelation we're chapter working, 18. We're working on Babylon, the characteristics of Babylon. That's right. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation chapter 18 and at verse 2. Yes. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. He cried mightily with a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, Babylon. is fallen. The great is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. And is become the habitation of devils. There's not a country on the planet Earth. Amen. That's not in a fallen state now. That's right. That's right. All the countries. All the countries. All of them. Oh, yes. Are in a fallen state. Amen. And God's people, many, not all, are more loyal to some of the countries wherein they live. That's true. Than they are to God. That's true. They are fearful yeah. of the country more than they fear God. That's right. Listen. They spit and he cried mightily with a strong voice. Hey, 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 hey. What did he say? Back in Revelation 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily. He cried mightily. With a strong voice. Uh, God made me a strong voice. I'm so glad he did. Oh, yes. With a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great Babylon is fallen. the great is fallen. Is fallen. Fallen. And is become the habitation of devils. Wait a minute. What have it become? A dwelling place for what kind? And it's become the habitation of devils. Lock you up for smoking joint. Now legalize it. Now legalize it. That's true. 
That's true. Lock you up for getting drunk and let us remember. Have you ever paid attention when you go to the state store, you that still go, and you that are watching? Amen. It's called a state store. Yeah. That means the government owned that place. Yes. And when you open a bottle of that Jack Daniels or that brandy or whatever you may open, when you open that bottle, you have cracked the government seal. That's right. And then you get drunk off the liquor that the government said you can buy. And after you get drunk, they throw you in jail for getting drunk That's off right. the liquor they say you can have. That's right. That's right. Think of it. That's right. It's called state store. Amen. Government owned. Government owned. Wine and spirits. Yep. I let you know you get another spirit every time you get drunk. That's right. You walk in the street acting like a fool, argue with telephone poles, ready to fight fire hydrants. I thought about a fellow when I was a kid. Uh, back in the 70s, we call his name was Nate, but we call him Ghost. Mm -hmm. Know all them names they give you in the hood. <laughs> Slam, Ghost, Cheese, everything. <laughs> well, I was, I, I was laying in bed, must have been about 1 or 2 o'clock, one summer morning, and some noise woke me up, and I look out my window at home, and Ghost, <laughs> it was trash night. Mm -hmm. And there was a refrigerator set outside. Ghost came, he, I mean, Ghost was heavenly, heavy, <laughs> heavy. Brother, that liquor had him seeing everything but God. <laughs> he, he couldn't walk straight to save his life. And when Ghost mm -hmm. was walking, he was talking loud all to himself, and he bumped up against the refrigerator and stopped. <laughs> he told the refrigerator, don't you see me coming? <laughs> He said, get out of my way. <laughs> refrigerator just stood there. He went to the refrigerator and pushed it. And the weight of the refrigerator went back. Then it came back up and hit him. Boom. And it made him go back. Ghost said, oh, you going to hit me? <laughs> Ghost said, it's on now. And I, I never forget, I sat in my window to watch this, this, this great cartoon movie. <laughs> Ghost put something on that refrigerator. I mean, he hit the, the top part was the freezer. He hit the top part, he hit the bottom, and then he knocked it down. Boom! Then he told it, get up! <laughs> Wine <laughs> and spirits. My Lord. Many of you here, many of you watching now, that's your condition now. That's right. You get drunk. You drink up all your money until you can't take care of your wife. You can't take care of your children. That's right. By you drinking, you end up losing your job. Yeah. Many of you preachers are so drunk you can't even stay in the pulpit. That's right. You come in your church drunk and the people think, oh, Bishop is heavily anointed. He ain't got no anointing. That fella got, he's, the only thing moving in him is Jack and Daniel. But they also have Aaron through wine. The, let's get Bible for this. Isaiah chapter 28 and at verse 7. Let's get Bible for it. Isaiah 28 and at the seventh verse. Says what? But they have also erred through wine. Through wine. Through wine. And through strong, and through strong drink. Strong drink. Are out of the way. They are out of the way, meaning they're out of God's will. The priest. Oh, wait a minute, who's drunk? The priest. Who's drunk? The priest. And who else? And the prophet. Have erred through strong drink. The priest and the prophet. And the prophet. Have erred have through, erred strong, through drink. strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are swallowed up. Up of wine. They are out of the way they, through they're, strong they're all drink. Oh, out of the way. Through strong drink. Through strong drink. They err in judgment. What? They err in vision. What? They err in vision. Error in That's vision. why you see so many gods. That's right. That's why women up in the pulpit. That's right. That old drunken bishop loved to see that meat jump around. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. That's why he'll say, Preach, mother. That's right. Hi, God is good. That's right. The Holy Ghost said what? They err in vision. That's why you find the priest in the Alcohol Anonymous. Yeah. Oh, about you, countless of countless. mass a day. Yeah. All that wine. <laughs> Notice they don't give the people wine. Give them all the bread. That's right. <laughs> he, he, he drank up all the wine. That's right. Huh? They err in vision. Err in vision. They stumble in judgment. They stumble in judgment. That's why you can't look at the scriptures and come out interpreting, explaining it right. For all tables are full of vomit. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. All tables are full of what? Of vomit. And what else? And filthiness. What's the result? So that there is no place clean. Hold it right there. Amen. Now the Bible speaking in symbolic terms. That's right. Let's look at what we come to the table to do. We come to the table to eat. To eat. 
we come to the church, yeah. which is the table to eat. That's right. But notice what's being served in church. For all tables are full of vomit. Vomit, vomit, vomit. 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 That's what's coming out of the preacher now. That's right. A bunch of junk, a bunch of lies he's throwing up in you mm. out here at a watching and you're licking up the bishop's vomit belief. That's right. Vomit represent what you digested in the past. That's right. And then it come in the present. It got a different texture and a different smell. That's right. When you bring it up in the past, you ate it in the past, and now you bring it up in the present. It stinks now. That's right. He got a stinking message. Unclean, Unclean. preaching. Full of vomit and... And filthiness. Filthy. It's dirty so that... There is no place clean. No place clean. You join the choir, but that's not clean. That's right. You become an usher. That's not clean. That's right. You play on the musicians. That's not clean. Yeah. No it says no place. No place. Homosexuals in the choir, cigarette suckers out there playing instruments, preachers in a pulpit with two wives, three wives were living together, not married. That's right. No place. No clean. place. Homosexual running revival. Yeah. A dyke, that's the choir director. That's right. That's right. Holy Ghost! Has. So that there is no place clean. That means every part of that organization, every part of that church that's dirty and filthy from wall to wall. That's right. Wall to wall dirt! That's right. You got to pay to come see some preacher run a revival. Amen. They have a church anniversary. You can sell tickets at the door. Yeah. Anything that's of God, you shouldn't have to pay to see it. That's right. That's right. The Bible says come without money. That's right. And without that price. price. If that thing represents God, you shouldn't have to pay a dime. Amen. You ain't got to come pay, see me. No. Glory to God, I come kill you free. <laughs> that's right. I kill you free of charge. That's right. Make your second wife leave you. You ain't got to pay me. Amen. Make your second husband leave you. You ain't got to give me no money. Right. Amen. Make your girlfriend go one way and you go another. You ain't got to give me a dime. That's right. Amen. Do it all free. Freely. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Freely give. That's freely right. receive. That's right. <laughs> all right. Come on back in Revelation, son. Everybody all right? Back in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. All right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Lord, thank God. I'm glad God made us cry mightily. 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 Amen. God has sent us in these last days with the message of holiness. Oh, yes. Holiness is the message, the heavenly message of correction. That's right. And order. That's right. The whole world is all out of order. Oh, yes. But yet they go on the course of prophecy. That's right. God said this will be. Oh, yes. But the rebelliousness that is in man, how he turned against God ever since Adam fell. That's right. Man been falling ever since, and some men don't want to get up. <laughs> That's true. They like it down. They there. like it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. You ask that dirty, wicked, ungodly thing, you want to get right with God? No, no. man. No, no, no. What, what is God going to do for me? Right. I'm not ready to live right now. I'm not ready to stop my dancing and party. I'm having too much fun. That's right. And then after that, he then died, whether he's an entertainer or a recording artist or an actor or actress. What's the next thing they want to do? Want to roll that sinner right in the church and then advertise their funeral and then have a choir singing that they're going up yonder. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Everybody singing, going up yonder. <laughs> That's right. Going up yonder <laughs> right. to be with my Lord. No, Ooh. just change it. Change you it. going to hell <laughs> That's right. to be with the devil. With the devil. That's right. Hmm? That's right. When they roll you in the choir, singing the choir should be singing, burning, burning. <laughs> Here come another soul burning, going to hell, gonna burn well, burning, burning. That's right. That's what you ought to say. That's what they ought to say. Then, 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 then just turn one of the old mothers loose. <laughs> eh? That's oh, right. Thank God. That's right. Amen. Hey, these old recording artists and actors and actresses that are full plague sinners. Oh, yeah. Die. Die. And you want to put them in heaven. That's right. Put James Brown in heaven. That's right. Put Michael Jackson in heaven. In heaven. <laughs> you ain't going to no heaven. <laughs> you ain't going to no heaven. You ain't going to no heaven. That's right. How in the world you going to live the like world. the devil and you going to heaven? That's right. <laughs> Just call a spade a spade. That's right. If they live like the devil, you're going to hell. Going to hell. Call a spade a spade. Go ahead. If they live like the devil, Go you're going to hell. That's right. Call it for what it is. That's right. 
Call it for what it is. Call it for what it is. Let's call it for what it is. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go I ahead. don't care how wealthy you are. No, no. How popular you are. No. You live like the devil, you gonna go to hell. That's right. You're going. Are you listening? That's right. And these preachers stand over the caskets of these sinners. Yeah. And put them in heaven. Put them in heaven. You're going to hell. But the fearful and unbelieving. The Bible speaks plain. In Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 8. You, but know, the fear you know I ain't preaching for folks that like me. No way. You know I ain't preaching for love. Oh no. But we will sue you. Why, why do I care? That's right. I ain't got nothing to give you no how. <laughs> That's right. I have been threatened by religious organizations and them that are not religious all around the world. Do I even look like someone that's scared? That's right. You see our schedule. Yeah. You know where we're going to be every place. Oh, yeah. Just bring it and stop talking. Amen. Otherwise, in that, we're going to preach what's written. That's right. God made me a preacher. That's right. I don't fear nobody but God. That's it. I don't care what entertainer or artist. You down without God, you going right to hell. But the fearful and unbelieving. Give chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 8. The fearful. And unbelieving. And the unbelieving. And the abominable. And the abominable and murderers, murderers and whoremongers, whoremongers and sorcerers, sorcerers and idolaters, idolaters and all liars, all liars shall have their part, shall in, have the lake, their part in the lake in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Look at the things some of you actors have said. Amen. About Jesus. Yeah. Denzel, look at what you said about Jesus in your Malcolm X role yeah. when you was in prison. Yeah. Jesus ain't done nothing for me. F Jesus. Mm. He ain't done a GD for me. My Lord. Look at what the man said who died from cancer. Yeah. Who prayed for that as the Black Panther. Yeah. Look at his last role. They gave him almost about five or six minutes of unlimitless blasphemy. My Lord. He said F God. My Lord. F Jesus. Mm. He said the H-E double L with God. By thy words thou shalt be justified. In Matthew well, 12, Pastor verse 37. Jesus, that's acting, not in God's eyes. For by thy words. God said it. Thy words. God said it. For by thy God words. God said it. Thou shalt be justified. Yeah. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Yeah. By thy words thou shalt be condemned. Amen. Are you getting what the old man is telling you? Amen. Preachers are scared to preach what we preach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scared of reprisals and getting yes. insults and I don't care nothing about that stuff. <laughs> no. I mean, long as God is happy, I'm happy. That's right. That's all that matters. That's right. We are we are facing the end of all things, and Babylon is getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. And here's folks trying to take these sinners and make them Christians. That's right. <laughs> That's what they do. Every artist who's an entertainer. Who entertain the world yeah. when they die? Yes. Christian. Christian. Every last one of them. That's Choirs. Right. Make them a Christian. Yeah. All of a sudden they talk about their God fearing. <laughs> Amen. They love the Lord. Yep. Died blues singer. Yeah. Died RB and playing gospel. That's right. Died homosexual. Yeah. Died a player. That's right. Died a pimp. Yeah. They even got a pimp convention. My Lord, my Lord. They even have a pimp convention in America. <laughs> There's a preacher mm. who called himself a pimp. He's a renowned pimp. Lord have mercy. Walk around with glasses that look like stars, like what Bootsy Barnes used to wear back in the 70s. Yeah. He's a, he, he's a proud pimp and don't hide it. Mm. Right away they say he's a man of God. Which God? That's right. He's a man of the God of this world. That's right. You see, they say this preaching is outdated. They say <laughs> Pastor Jennings is behind the times. No, the Bible keep me updated with everything that's going on. That's right.
What did the word of God say? Read fast, huh? Back in Revelation 18 and verse 2. What is it? And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Yes. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is, is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Yes. And the hold of every foul spirit. It's, wait a minute. Babylon holds what there? Every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. Years ago when folks claimed they was homosexual, they kept it hushed on the down low. Yeah. A homosexual can get a job quicker than a person of color can. That's true. That's true. Hmm. See, we call a spade a spade. Yeah. Amen. You call a black man nigger, mm. take a long time before the judge may agree. That's true. You fire a homosexual, judge will find you right away. That's right. Why? What's in America? And the hold of every foul spirit. The, the hold of every of foul spirit. Every foul what? Foul spirit. Foul spirit. Every foul every spirit. Every foul spirit from religion to religion to religion to religion. That's right. Amen. There's nothing but a murder and frenzy taking place now. That's true. Killing each other, hating one another, murdering one another, raping each other. Yeah. Black power this, white power the other. Ain't mm -hmm. none of you got no power till you obey God. That's right. I don't care nothing about your cheap white power, nor do I have any respect for your cheap black power. No. The only power that I'm interested in is the power of God. That's right. One group hold their fist, the other have your hand. God will slap your fist and slap your hand. Amen. <laughs> Are you listening? And it's become yeah, that. I got an invitation from the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the cities in Louisiana, the head of that, uh, the head of that chapter, in one of the cities of Louisiana, I was in Lafayette, the Black Panther uh, came and he said, Pastor Jenny, we love you down here. You don't, you, you, you don't play, and this is what we need. We want you to come and speak for us. I said, the Black Panther Party hmm. want me to come preach. He said, yes. He said, I want you to address the different murder and killing that is taking place in our city. Mm -hmm. That's taking place everywhere. Yeah. I said, all right, I'll come. He said, what you charge? He said, because we got Al Sharpton to come down. He charged us 35000 just to stand and take a picture. Wow. He said he didn't even speak, just 35000 just stand and take a picture. My Lord. He said, Pastor Dennis, what would you charge? I said, nothing. Nothing. He said, you're kidding. I said, no, hmm. nothing. I said, I'm not into photo ops. I'm into killing. Right. I'm into preaching God's word. That's it. I don't care if you're the Black Panthers. I don't care if you're the little cubs. And I don't care if you're little the dogs. I don't, I don't care if, if, you, if you're the kitty cat gang. <laughs> That's right. I bring God's word to anybody. That's right. You young people out here flaunting yourself out Preach here it. with your two and three inches fake eyelashes that you bought from Walgreens. Preach it. And your Amazon hair and your CVS Amen. nails and all of this trash that you got on New Day because you think you look beautiful, because you look like one of Hollywood hoes instead of respecting yourself and being what God wants you to be. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Well, Pastor Jenna, my husband liked me like this. Suppose you get sick, yeah. have a stroke, and can't wear it. Yeah. Then what? Then what? He's going to find someone else. That's right. And make them look like a clown. That's right. Love the way God made you. Yeah. Take that CVS hair and throw it in the trash. Yeah. Take them fake nails and throw it in the trash. That's right. Take them paint brushes off your eyes. Yeah. You know your eyes ain't that long. Are you listening? That's right. And you claim you some Christian? How in the world are you a Christian looking like Jezebel? Yeah. God, women are holy looking women. That's right. Who told you you look cute? Or look sexy, showing your breasts and your sexy. behind and your hips. Amen. How would you like for your little daughters to go out that way? Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Did you hear the Holy Ghost say? Babylon the great is fallen, this is, is yeah, fallen. This is why they call me mean. Yeah. Because I tell you direct what the word of God says. That's right. They call me mean and brash. They say he's immoral. He don't preach with love. Preach he's with love. proud. You call me whatever you like. That's right. You're going to obey what God say do or you're going on vacation. <laughs> and one thing about it, you don't have to worry about no menu. You don't have to worry about nothing to drink. 
You don't have to burn no lights. There's no electricity. There's free darkness, free fire, free and fire. you never stop falling. That's right. Are you getting what the old man tell you? Amen. Hallelujah. Take God. Amen. All right. Babylon the Great is fallen, fallen and is fallen. And it's become the habitation, become a habitation of, devils of devils. And the hold of every the hold foul spirit. Hold of every foul what? Foul spirit. Foul spirit. And the foul spirit is out here. He's, that's out there. Little children now saying that, uh, telling their parents, or parents telling their children, yeah. or having babies, and they say they're not going to call it a him or her. Sick parents. Sick, you sick, sick parents. parents. Here, you got a boy. You change his diaper. That's right. You see his little anatomy. That's right. I'm going to make it so plain. Make it plain. You see his little anatomy. And you sick fathers. And you mentally ill mothers. Yeah. Go and say, you're not going to call it a boy. Or a girl, you're going to raise it as a other. That's right. Yet you get an ultrasound, the doctor said, you're having a male. That's right. Or you're having a female. Yeah. You say, oh, no, no, I'm going to raise it as a other. Then don't you get pregnant. You go to the store and go buy you a bear, a stuffed bear. <laughs> Read that stuffed bear and say, I will call you other. Other. <laughs> Stop making them in hell bound things out there. That's right. You that work in these institutions and they try to force your hand yeah. mm -hmm. when a man come in mm -hmm. named Jimmy. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Jimmy come in. Jimmy. You see his razor bumps. His hands like he been chopping logs. That's right. 16 sneaker. No hips at all. Amen. Black as midnight. Top of his head died blind. Now here's Jimmy coming in. Jimmy. Uh, your name? Uh, uh, uh. My, my name... My name is uh, Judy. <laughs> Judy. Your, re your real name, sir. Oh, don't say sir to me. That's right. Don't say sir to me. I don't answer the sir. That's what they say. You know, I, my name is Judy. You, Judy. I, I'm Judy. <laughs> That's right. So That's now, right. applications and paperwork's in business. Male, female, or other. Other. Now, this is what I'm fighting across the world. Yeah. I'm telling the people of God to take a stand, even if you got to lose your job. Right. God first. That's right. You know that man named James? You call him Judy? You a liar. That's a lie. That's right. You know that's a man, and he wants you to put other or girl. Girl. And you put it there because yeah. you're scared to lose your job? You're a weak liar. That's a liar. That's right. You come on here, James, Jimmy. Let me get ready to baptize you. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Huh? That's right. Baptize. Jimmy, no, 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 you got it wrong, no, no, I'm duty, I'm duty, it is my duty to be duty. That's right. Jimmy, I don't want to get baptized if you can't call me duty. Get, get out of this water. Get out the water. Get out. That's right. The homosexual society control religion. Yeah. The homosexual society control politicians. Oh, yeah. They control the choir. They control the pulpit. They control the offering. They control business. That's right. The book of Revelation says every foul what? And the hold of every foul spirit. That's why your mother is straight. Your father is straight. But now your son and daughter is having dreams. Yeah. So being homosexual is not always a learned behavior. 
No. It's a foul spirit. Foul spirit. That's what it Some is. Some went that direction because they had a sick uncle. Yeah. Who mounted up on his nephew like a sick pervert. That's right. Some went that direction because the mama or sister the straddled her brother or son. That's right. Some went that direction because you bowed down in front of your preacher, not for prayer. Yeah. Am I right? Amen. People looking for you and you right there under the preacher's robe. Under the robe. He saw someone coming and threw the robe over you. Like Dracula. That's and right. you just sitting there. Come in, Bishop. Oh, Bishop, I'm looking for my son, Tommy. You see him? You see him? No. <laughs> I don't know where Tommy's at. Tommy's under Bishop's robe. Under the robe. Giving him service. That's right. It may sound funny, but it's sad because some of these preachers have manipulated these children and quoted Bible to them. That's right. So you sick parents, I don't care if you don't like it. You pregnant with a boy? Yeah. It's a boy. It's a boy. You pregnant with a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. Anything that's other is of the devil. That's right. I'm going to let my child decide what he is, you idiot. That, that's an idiot. Who's an idiot? <laughs> that's right. God Almighty already decide. That's, have you not read? Amen. You don't believe God decide? Watch it when he piss. Mm. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. Yeah. Amen. Swing, brother. Swing. You don't think God decided? Watch it when he piss. Swing. Either he going to stand or somebody going to sit. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. How much plainer can I make it? Someone say, well, the doctors, they decide. No, they don't. God no. make the decision. God make the decision. There's one creator. That's right. That goes for if I got any sick. Miami, Florida parents here. Amen. I'm going to let my child decide what he is because we're living in that time now. You ain't fit to be a parent. Amen. You should never got knocked up and got pregnant. Amen. And if you women or men think like, like this, like fella, that. keep your drawers on. That's and right. girl, keep your legs closed. Oh, yeah. He ain't fit to be a father. You ain't fit to be a mother. Amen. God decides. God God decides. Amen. He said I made male and female. 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 Who made the other? Who made the other? Amen. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? And it's become the habitation of devils. This is Babylon. This is America. This is the world. Yeah. They have become a habitation of devils. And the hold. Even the so-called preachers, they, they, they got this to each his own attitude. To each his own. Well, we don't condemn nothing. God is not a God of condemning. He's a God of love. That's a lie. That's a lie. If God wasn't condemning sin, give me the eighth chapter of the, of the book, book of, of Romans. Romans. We'll start at verse if one. If God wasn't condemning sin, ain't, I'm getting out the pulpit. That's right. I'm getting out the pulpit. I'm going to Little Havana. <laughs> huh? That's right. right down here in Miami, I'm going to Little Havana. That's right. There's a lot of Havana down there in Havana. Amen. <laughs> no, you want to be Christians in a pina colada in one hand, a Bible in the other. Right. And you want to go to churches who don't say nothing about it. So you will go to a church every Sunday after you stay up all night Saturday because even you know ain't no sin going to be spoken against. That's right. That's what made you comfortable. That's what made you all at ease. At ease. But God were to put you on edge. Oh, yes. Come on. Romans 8, and we'll start at verse 1. That's what? There is therefore now no condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You're not condemned if you go after the spirit. For the law of the For spirit the law of life of the in Christ spirit of Jesus. Life that's in Christ Jesus that made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do. What the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God sending God his own was son. manifested in the flesh. In the likeness of, in the sinful, likeness flesh. of sinful flesh. And, and for sin. And for sin, what did God do? Condemn sin in the flesh. Why? 
that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who do what? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. What did he do in the flesh? Who? who and what did he do in the flesh? Condemned sin in the flesh. Who? Who? He did what? And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. You must really enjoy that scripture. You gave it two hoots. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the who? Who? You hoot the law. Glory to God. God condemn it. Condemn and that's why flesh. folks yell against me all over social media. He condemned this. He condemned that. You think a normal man will condemn sin? Are you that big of a fool? That's right. Man nature is to love sin. Yeah. Think a nature of a man is to love sin and mm. woman. Oh, yes. Jesus did what? And for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Condemns it. He condemned it. Condemned it. The preachers don't condemn it because they don't represent Jesus. They represent some organization. That's right. Some little passive organization. They already talk about it loud. <laughs> loud. Like that song the Beatles used to sing. All you need is love. That's right. All you need is love. Love is all you need. That's love a lie. Is, love is that's a lie. <laughs> that's right. All you need if that's all you need. You need God. That's it. That's walk it. around and love and walk around, let your hair hang down and put on flip flops and go back to the hippie age all you want. Yeah. You don't repent of your sins and go down and water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You and your tie dye shirt is going to be right in hell. That's right. With a head full of daisies. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Babylon! Babylon, the greatest fallen is fallen. It's falling, it's falling. And it's become the habitation of devils. You mothers and fathers, get a grip on your house. Your house has fell. Fell. Children come in any hour they want and you say nothing. That's right. They sit out all on the step and every your ungodly, dirty bum is hanging out on your step. Yeah. You let your boy, your daughter's boyfriend spend the night in your house. Your son's girlfriend spend the night in your house. You allow drinking and smoking and partying in your house. That's right. That's right. The father shares the, the, his son's girlfriend. Mm. And after the daughter's done with her boyfriend, mama come out. Mama up. come. That's right. And grandma in the other room. Save me, son. <laughs> eh? My Lord. Who will take God? My Lord. What did the Holy Ghost say? And it's become the habitation of devils. It's become a habitation of devils. And the hold of every Wait foul minute, spirit. The hold of every ungodly spirit. And a cage. And a cage. Of every unclean and hateful bird. It's a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine. Now let me educate you. Amen. They talk about, let's itemize what's there again. And Babylon, come on real quick. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Yes. And the hold of every foul spirit. Oh, foul spirit, devil, uh -huh. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yes. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. Now hold it. How can you drink of the wrath of fornication? Drink of it. Fornication is not just done with the body. That's right. The setting up of idols. That's right. Is a form of fornication. That's right. And uh, when and you go out to these idols. idols, listen at this. In the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. That's what? For the devising the of planting, idols. The planting, the devising. Of idols. The, the, the construction. That's right. The setup of idols. Was the beginning. Was the introduction. Of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication. You got spiritual fornication and you got natural fornication committed by the body and you also got spiritual fornication that's committed by the mind and uh -huh. the heart that's right all right back in revelation 18 and verse 3 yes for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication oh yes and brother brother the devil is serving these nations wickedness all over all over and they're drinking it they're digesting it that's right by drinking it as a drink meaning is presenting wickedness in a manner that is so fair seeming and so acceptable is not even looked at as sin. That's true. That's what that means. That's true. That's why it's presented in the Bible in, uh, in the hieroglyphic form as a drink. That's, that's right. You really don't see the dirt in it. Mm. It's just presented to you 
and it's so common. You just drink it and digest it, and you don't see that it's sin because it's so common. That's right. Uh -huh. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. Yes. And the kings of the earth. Even the kings of the earth. Have committed fornication with that it. I let you know even the kings is digesting the same dirt. That's right. Uh -huh. And the merchants of the earth. Yeah, the businessmen. Are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. They got rich through the cooperation of the foul spirits. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. What? Come out of her, my people. That's what I'm preaching. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out who? My people. I let you know God's people by the millions by the is millions. tied up in the same thing. That's right. And God has sent us and made us a voice in the wilderness of America and the world. That's right. Crying out, prepare you the way of the Lord. That's it. Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. God is pleading with you. That's right. Come, Come out. out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins. That you don't be partaker of her sins. And that you receive not of her plagues. So you don't be destroyed like she's going to be destroyed. You better repent now. Better repent. Miami, Florida, you better repent. Everything in the state of Florida and the world. Yeah. All of you that have repented of your sins and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, through the years, come out of your churches, don't get baptized, and then go wander back in your church. That's right. You still will go to hell just the same. That's right. You got to come out and I'm stay out. out and walk up the truth of the gospel, and any preacher that forbids you to listen, ignore him. That's right. Because he's a child of hell. Amen. Come out of Babylon. Come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon. Come That's out of the wickedness. That's right. Remember, America is an ungodly country. Oh, yes. God purpose for you to obey him. It is not God's will that anybody perish, that anybody be lost. But it's God's will that all come to repentance. That's right. He come along and on the day of Pentecost and stood up in the Apostle Peter. Then God stood up in Peter. Yeah. And Peter preached this message with the Holy Ghost sent from heaven. That's right. And Peter said unto them in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to be sorry for your sinful, wicked, foolish, wild life. That's right. Young man, young girl. I'm not going to tell you like the churches do. There's nothing out there. There's plenty out there. Oh, yeah. But it's up to you to decide whether to accept it or reject it. Amen. God wants you to repent. God wants you to be sorry. God wants you to be sorry and be convicted for your wrong and for your wickedness. That's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. He ain't never said bow your head and raise your hands. All of you that done it didn't do nothing but waste your time. That's right. He ain't never said join the church. He ain't never said pray a sinner's prayer. No. And if you done that and went off and talking you 